So basically what it is, uh, Amy is going to present her first, or her findings, her journey of her first um, apprenticeship task. So go ahead. So here we yeah, go. Let us begin now. So we start with a beautiful picture of Hawaii. And I've chosen the picture of Hawaii to introduce this because uh, the word wiki is Hawaiian for quick. And I sometimes wonder how they ever got a word of quick in their vocabulary because I don't think I think everything's quite laid back in Hawaii. So my task was to write a wiki, and uh, I had to write it in pure Ruby, uh, which means no libraries, no plugins, no Rails, no R spec, uh, no Sinatra, and not even test unit. But it had to be test driven, so I couldn't use the built-in Ruby test framework, but I had to write a framework of some sort of my own making. So I came up with this huge blog post <laughs> of my wonderful idea of a very detailed uh, test framework that I would like to write, and my emphasis was on test-driven development, uh, behavior-driven development, in fact, and I got a bit of feedback on this, and I actually got it to work. It was kind of like 50-line program just for this framework, and all it did was add up numbers. So boring, <laughs> because it was way over-engineered and uh, actually not doing anything helpful in the slightest. Or, um, and I was trying to solve a problem that yet didn't really exist because I was doing it the wrong way around. I was making my test framework first before um, anything else. So the next thing that I did was um, think about uh, web brick and templates and um, layouts and ERB and I was ever so excited when I got this again 2 plus 4 equals and make it output the number 6 in a web browser um, so the, <laughs> to me this is very exciting but of course still not very useful it's, it's still not a wiki everything I've done thus far is um, nothing to do with wiki functionality and okay it doesn't actually have to be Wikipedia but at least has to be something vaguely resembling a wiki not, um, oh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Sorry, one moment, please come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this was the um, turning point for me, which was when Enrique said to me, what is the most important part of the wiki? And it made me focus and think, you know, actually, what am I trying to do here? I had to really come down to the most important thing, which is the content and to me, content exists within a page. I couldn't think of any other way of getting content apart from within a page. So I first, you know, for the first time, I was actually thinking about what I was really trying to do here, which is to, to focus on building a page and putting some content into it. So here I started creating a new page. And my first... Uh, thing was, for some reason I decided it needed a title, which is probably not the right place to start, but this is where I started. And my first test was uh, assert equal, which was making sure when I gave it a title I got it. And here's the dawn of a bright new day, this was my test framework, and that's just assert equal, make sure the thing we get is the thing we wanted. So that was, instead of the 50 line framework that I had before, this was and, and to this day, actually, it didn't get much more complicated than this. I think I put in a cert true and I put in a cert contains. And uh, green light, because I managed to um, go green for the first time, actually, with something useful. And as I went on, I refactored quite a lot, pulling out the test framework when I needed to put it into its own module that could be included into other classes. And what I needed was a way of creating pages or retrieving them if I already had them. So here is a factory. This is actually a glass factory in Mexico. Apparently this is a very hot and dangerous place to work. Uh, my factory was not too dangerous. It was quite simple, in fact. And um, what it did was it made me wonder, where should I be storing the pages? Because I thought I needed them in a file system, but actually Enrique said to me, just to start off, what's the simplest thing I could do would be a hash. So the key would be the title, and the value would be the content. So if I could at least get to that stage, then I could. Uh, I didn't need to persist between sessions initially. I just needed a way to store the content in some way. 
And then I came into the strategy, you know, either I could store it into a hash, or at some point I could store it in a file system or in a database. And so this strategy method, um, it actually became necessary because I needed to store uh, files in a different location when I was testing as to when I was doing it in the real world so I didn't end up clearing out test data. Uh, so, um, my next big hurdle was how to get it into a browser and I'd already struggled with Webbrick before and it seemed a big leap to me to know actually how to test something in the browser. And um, the stuff I'd done with the ERB didn't feel right before and I wasn't really sure where to go. Now James came up with this idea for me which is to wrap the uh, a web server wrapper around Webbrick so that I didn't have to access Webbrick directly and James said could you just put hello world onto the screen and uh, you know test that I get this and I did so I carried on writing uh, servlets like this and next thing I had to do is access a page and I did it wrong <laughs> because I knew that I was doing something wrong because I was hard coding in file locations and just everything felt awkward and I came to Henry K again and said I'm stuck again because just nothing seems to be working right here. So what I had to do actually was a very simple solution which was just to pass the page factory that I had made, this lovely factory, pass it to the web server and then it just got the right location and of course it's very satisfying when you get the right solution it just feels right, you just know it's right because it just works. And so from then on, it was quite a speedy race to the end. It was actually just putting all these building blocks together. I had these well-tested modules and classes that just fit together really well, and they did what they were supposed to do. They were reliable, it's well-tested code. So it was quite good just to plug it all together and see it work until I got to the finished thing. And the very last stage, actually, this is my final slide coming up, which was putting the links between pages, and I chose to use the media wiki format convention of using those square brackets to be able to link to other pages, which I used uh, a regular expression to translate into links. And I think that is it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>